You're going to want to install brackets, and we're in version 1.8. Um, it changes every few months, so you may want to make sure you've got the correct version. So I'm going to download brackets. I'm going to save the file. And I'm going to hit next and install. This also works on a Mac. I'm not going to do a second video. It's pretty much the same thing. I use both a Mac and a PC for this class, so you may see me using either. It sh really should not matter. Okay, and that removed my shortcut for brackets, so let's go find it again. There we go. Pin to taskbar. Okay, it says it's pinned to taskbar, but I don't see it. That must be it there. And it is. That should hopefully update. All right, so I'm pointing at, I created a new folder. I called my folder Web 115 Spring 2017. I've got it in my documents. You want to create a folder. And when you first open this, it has some sort of default folder. You'll want to hit the down arrow on and go open folder. You should have created an empty folder to use. All right, so once I'm in brackets, I want to make sure that I have the various plugins that will be used in this class. And we use lots of them. Um, I just reinstalled because I had an older version. And OK, many of mine came through. You're going to want Beautify. You'll want to, at some point, you'll want bracket SAS. You don't need this now. You will want Emmet. You might as well install that right away. Um, you will want spell check. You will want W3C validation. I wonder if it has CSS validation. Let's take a look. Nope, which is fine because SAS has it, and we're going to get into SAS right away. Let's look at Git. That's something I want to take a look for. Ah, it's supposed to have Git. Let's see if it has FTP. Oh, I'm not. I'm looking installed. I want to switch to available to get new ones. That would work better. So let's see if it has anything for CSS. Oh, that would be useful, SAS hints. So you just choose what you want. Ultimately, I will want a minifier. But I'm not going to do that right now. Auto prefixer, I want that. And that's how. you add different things that are interesting to you. And there's many, many, many things out here. So you can take a look and see what you want. So th that's how you add these. Now, I'm going to be using Emmet. Your next assignment will be using Emmet. And I want to show you how important and useful that is. So I'm going to create a new file. And this is just going to be my index file. So the first thing I'm going to do is save it. Because you have to have it as an HTML file for it to give you the code hinting and error checking. So I'm going to call it index.html. And I'm in my Web 115 folder here. And this is why I love Emmet. So if I just put in, normally do follow this with doc type, if I put in the exclamation point and I hit tab, and look, it puts in everything for me. It's awesome. I love Emmet. Um, so it's Emmet's a shortcut code for doing a bunch of typing. So we're going to call this Mary's Web 115 Spring 2016. And I'm not going to put a lot of stuff in here. You have, at this point, should know how to create a basic page and add your um, CSS and stuff. So I will put in H1, actually. Let me do this in Emmet. 
I can just type H1 tab and then Mary's Web 115. And then if I wanted to put in bulleted lists, I could do that. Um, but for today, I just want Mary's Web 115. And I will add and link to things as I go. I have not added a CSS page to this. I will do a new one, File, New. And I usually call mine Styles, Save As, Style, or Styles.CSS. And then I will want to go back to here and link to it. And I just typed link and hit tab, and it should come right up. So I should be able to save all. And I've got brackets up and running, and I'm typing in it. Love brackets. Use anything you want. This is what I'm supporting. If you have something else you want to use, you're welcome to use it.